Hey guys, how's it going? Shiro here. I hope you're all well today. So today is a ultimate Skyrim load order video. This was going to be the stealth uh, load order, but it evolved into something a bit more. There was so many mods that I wanted to try out that you guys recommended to me. I didn't feel right calling it a stealth load order. It can obviously be used that way, but I feel like it's more of a complete one of a complete load order. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you are on your channel, please consider subscribing as I'm trying to reach 2,000 by the end of the year. And everyone that has subscribed so far, thank you all so much. You're absolutely amazing. I love you guys. Thank you. Anyways, let's get on with the video. Hope you enjoy. First up, we have the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. This mod fixes bugs and glitches Bethesda themselves never got round to fixing. Now I did want to try a load order without this mod in, but a lot of the mods I like require it and don't have an option without requiring it. So until then, it will probably be still in my load order for a long time to come. Well, now we have Lanterns of Skyrim 2, 1K version. This adds lanterns along the roadside so you can see what you're doing at night when it gets dark. Following that we have Lanterns of Skyrim Unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. It just makes sure that the two mods are compatible with each other without any conflicts. Next up we have Nordic UI. Now I did stop using this uh, UI mod a while ago because I did crash on the main menu. But I'm going to give it a second chance and just say that was a pure fluke and maybe it was Bethesda's error and not the mods itself. So I'll let you know how it goes but uh, it looks amazing and it is literally the best UI mod that you can get for the game on Xbox and PC in my opinion. Following that we have the Parthenax Dilemma. This mod allows you to not kill Parthenax and keep the blades happy with you at the same time, which I think is a good win-win situation all around. Following that we have Tetsuna, a Kitana set that is uh, craftable. Um, it's, um, well, it's craftable, I don't know what much to say about that. They look really cool and uh, I recommend people try them out. Following that we have Ordinator, Perks of Skyrim. This overhauls the perk trees within the game to give them completely new options and allow you to diversify your builds within the game. <clears throat> Apologies there guys, I got still a little bit of a chesty cough, uh, but we move, we move. Uh, following that we have Apocalypse, this adds over 155 new spells to the game, 31 per school. After that we have the Apocalypse Ordinator compatibility patch. Uh, just make sure that the two mods play nicely with each other. Uh, to find the Apocalypse Ordinator compatibility patch, simply search Apocalypse dash Ordinator with spaces and it will come up no problem. Or just sort by most popular of all time and it will be in there as well along with the other two mods. Following that we have Mythical Wonders optimized for Xbox. Um, obviously in my last load of the video I obviously used Mythical Wonders but I didn't use the optimized for Xbox version. Obviously we are switching it to, to it now because we save a lot of space. I believe the normal Mythical Wonders is like 90 megabytes and this is only 14.5. So good downgrade, but it still looks as beautiful as the uh, full fat 90 megabytes version. So really good. Following that we have Trees of Aduna all in one. Um, it's my personal favorite tree mod. Such good performance from it. For what it does, it looks absolutely incredible as well. And all the lords are fully generated so you don't get trees popping in and out of existence uh, with this tree mod. Uh, I did get recommended another tree mod, um, it's like forests or something, magical forests or mythical, I can't remember what the full name was of the tree mod. Um, I did try it out, but trees were just popping into existence and I don't like that. I like to have them already fully loaded, I don't want them popping in and out, it breaks my immersion really when I'm trying to play the game. Well, now we have Origins of Forest, 3D Forest. Um, Forest Grass, should I say. Uh, this one is completely optional. If you are on a lower tier version of the Xbox console, I recommend you don't download this one. Just stick with Trees of Aduna and obviously all the other mods because uh, I reckon it will probably be a bit too much on your system. As you do tend to drop a couple of frames on the Series X if you are in a heavy tree -y dense area along with this mod as well. So uh, obviously, I, again, I don't recommend downloading this if you are on a lower tier system of the Xbox console. Oh, well, now we have landscape fixes for grass mods. This mod just removes grasses from areas you wouldn't expect to see it, and obviously places where the Khajiit tend to sit, you won't have grass coming through their tents. Oh, well, now we have the R246 Concept XBR. This adds in some free uh, some presets. Apologies there for the female characters. Uh, I use the very last preset for the Nord. Uh, that's how I create my female character. After that, we have Pyrocas. This is the UMP uh, body. It's the meshes basically, so you do need a skin and obviously 
uh, armor mod to go with it. So that's why we have the beauties of Skyrim HD. This is for a UMP body variant, which works very well with Pyrocurse. And uh, beauties of Skyrim HD makes the female characters look absolutely amazing. I don't see any other mod that does this like to its quality anyway. Uh, following that, we have Pyrocurse go as BDUUMP. Yes, this is a skimpy armor mod. If you don't like it, stop watching my videos. I like to have skimpy armors. No, I am not a virgin. I have a girlfriend of three years. I have three children. I just like to look at nice things, okay? Sue me. Or go cry about it. I don't care, mate. Honestly. But 99% um, uh, of the people who watch my videos, they also like the skimpy armors too. So, yay, go us. I will eventually do an art load of that focuses on men, but... Today is not that day. Anyway, a little rant over, moving on. Uh, but yeah, it's an armor replacer, skimpy armors, really nice. Um, pose pack, uh, this does not work for me. I tried to download it to create a nice thumbnail, doesn't work. But uh, yeah, you can just ignore this one completely. I'm gonna delete it myself right now anyway. Oh, now we have just new female animations. Uh, a lot of these animations do get overwritten by a mod lower down the load order, but for the ones that don't, it looks re they look really good and I really do uh, recommend it. Well, now we have the XP32 Maximum Skeleton plus Realistic Ragdoll and Force. Uh, this is just a skeleton plus obviously Realistic Ragdoll and Force. So when enemies get killed or fought, knocked down, they fall down naturally instead of doing like a 360 no scope backflip and dying then. Well, now we have the Paulie's Art 2 Remix. This is like a um, this is like SMIM, but obviously to the Paulie's Art style. Um, it is a required mod. If it wasn't required, I wouldn't have downloaded it purely because of the size of it. Um, but this is obviously another recommended um, type of mod that you guys suggested over Skyland. Um, which I don't see the point of recommending it. Like, it does look absolutely amazing. But one, the LODs aren't loaded in. Um, and two, it actually turns out to be about the same size as Skyland. People are saying it's smaller, but it's not. Like, I don't know. So, yeah, but it, it looks really good. Paul is ready to track the Skyrim all in one. This is the uh, enhanced, uh, optimized enhanced version. Obviously, I'm going to have all the links in the comment section. I will do it this time. Just give me a few hours after the video has gone live and I will get around to doing it. I promise you. <laughs> I tend to forget, but I will get it done for this one because a lot of the mods in here, you need to find them yourselves and it will be can be difficult. So I will give you the links so you can go to Bethesda.net. You can favorite the mods and then go onto Xbox and go into your favorite section and download them from there. On that, we have Liam Wolf's Better Shaped Weapons. So this is another mod, a new mod that I'm using to try and reduce their, like obviously mod sizes and stuff like that. So obviously I don't have to use Old Kingdom now because I have Liam Wolf's Better Shaped Weapons. And to obviously pair with that, we have Real Bows. Again, both these mods retexture and redesign the weapons within the game. Obviously, Better Shaped Weapons. I'm pretty sure it only covers like wet, like swords, axes, maces. Uh, great sword and stuff like that. I don't think it touches bows because I remember when Skyrim first came out with mods and stuff I was using these two in conjunction with it because I'm pretty sure it doesn't touch bows But either way uh, both very small in size. Uh, it's only like It's only like 90 megabytes if you add them both up really rounding up obviously Compared to the 500 that you do get with all kingdom and I do like personally how the bows look with real bows And I do like the way the weapons look with Liam Will's uh, better shaped weapons. So nice little uh, compromise there saving a lot of space as well well, now we have KS Hairdo's Light. This adds in 20 new hairstyles for males and females. Uh, both of them, all of them look really incredible. Uh, choose which one you suits your fancy with this. Well, now we have the Eyes of Beauty Replacer AI Remastered 1K version. Um, I just go for the blue eyes, they look really nice. Um, yeah. Well, now we have Beijing All in One. Uh, this uh, overhauls some female NPCs within the game. And giving them a new uh, a new aesthetic, making them look completely different to how they would look from, from the vanilla game, and uh, making them look actually look like a current gen NPC instead of like the the potato Bethesda game NPCs. I'm sorry guys, I'm getting really tongue tied. I literally take two days off and then I, can't, I forget how to speak. I, I know, I apologize. Uh, following that, we have Pandorables NPC all in one, another NPC replacer. It doesn't just do females; it does some males as well, if I read correctly. Yeah, 152 NPCs have been redesigned within the game, giving them a new aesthetic and making them look a lot better in my opinion. Oh, now we have Scarlet Days 21, My Lovely Serena. Um, I usually go with Serena Holic, but this one looked really nice and I thought it was a nice, nice way to change it up. So yeah, Serena looks a lot better in the game now as well. 
Well, now we have Breeze Home. This mod is purely here because obviously the Breeze Home redesign looks really nice with Inside Right Run. But I also wanted to show you where you can place uh, custom home mods if you want to add in one of your own. So obviously place them here with Breeze Home. After that, we have White Run, the City of Trees Light Edition. This add trees into White Run that can be viewed from outside and inside. The lods are fully, fully generated and they look absolutely incredible and adds a nice aesthetic to White Run itself. Following that, we have Cities of the North all in one bundle, Cities of the North all in one Lanterns of Skyrim 2 patch, Cities of the North Creation Club AE patch, so obviously patches for all the Creation Club content. And uh, yeah, so obviously Cities of the North all in one bundle. I'm pretty sure everyone knows what Cities of the North does at this point. Um, redesigns some of the smaller towns and villages within Skyrim, giving them a Viking aesthetic, and I think it looks really amazing. Following that, we have JK White Run Outskirts and all of the corresponding patches for it. Uh, there's a lot of them. Uh, so obviously you've got the Creation Club content, Lanterns of Skyrim 2, Landscape Fixes for Grass mod, the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch, and obviously the main mod itself. This looks absolutely incredible. The only um, the only downside to this is the LODs are not generated for it, so they, it, all the stuff does just, uh, does just pop into existence. Which, uh, you know, you, it's, it's, it's okay, but I would like to see a LOD file made for this and uploaded. If someone can get around to doing that, that would be super great. Uh, following that, we have JK's Windhelm Outskirt and obviously all the corresponding patches, which is just two for this. Creation Club content and the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch. Then we have JK's Markov Outskirt and obviously the uh, JK's Riften Outskirt as well. I couldn't find patches for these. Let me know if these two have patches for them because I couldn't find any. So let me know in the comment section down below if there is any. Following that, we have enhanced lights and FX. This overhauls the interior lighting of the game. Given a, well, it's not darker. Well, it is darker in some places because obviously some places I shouldn't have light sources. I have light sources and look weird. So this makes it look like more natural lighting on the inside and really, really nice. Uh, following that we have Lanterns of Skyrim 2, Enhanced Lights and FX. Uh, just make sure the two mods are compatible. I'm not really sure why, considering the Enhanced Light and FX doesn't touch any exterior lighting. So uh, let me know why this one is needed, because obviously Lanterns of Skyrim 2 obviously is an exterior lighting, so I'm not 100% certain on this myself. Following that we have Dawn Waters with Natural Waterfalls. So, uh, I don't know if it's, I think it's the Paulie's mod, but for whatever reason the water looks a bit different to how it normally does with Dawn Waters. It should have overwritten everything Paulie's does, but I think the Paulie's mod has in, um, I can't remember what the, what, what the name is, it's like a, a new um, orbs or whatever, like reflections work and stuff like that. So the water has better reflections. Um, personally, I still preferred how the Dawn Waters looked normally before the interference of Paulie's mod, and, and uh, I thought Dawn Waters being lower down would have overwritten it, but apparently not. Um, this is probably some of the last load order that I use with the Paulie's mod, purely because I like everything to be loaded in with the LODs, and uh, I don't want it interfering with everything else. And uh, yeah, unless anyone knows of a Paulie's mod that just just does textures only and doesn't change anything else and add in a bunch of stuff. Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, following that we have Disabled Jump and Salmon purely because natural waterfalls adds in custom meshes for the waterfalls and the rocks don't line up with where the jump Salmon should be jumping so they'll end up jumping through the rocks. This just stops them from jumping so they don't jump through rocks. Following that we have the Ultimate Dodge Mod XP32 Maximum Skeleton uh, compatibility version or compatible version I believe. Uh, then we have Violens, a kill move mod SE, and then we have a movement and combat overhaul. Uh, I think this is the JH version, yes. Um, so this is the mod that overrides a lot of the uh, just uh, female animations mod. But uh, they look absolutely amazing and a really good combat mod. If you don't like the slow paced combat that this uh, combat mod, mod offers in third person, just switch to first person. For whatever reason, you don't slow down in first person. On that we have uh, Sekiro Combat S. Uh, this looks absolutely amazing. It's a fun little combat mod. It obviously, um, it, it's to do with time blocking, and obviously when you do make a block, you get the spark and stuff like that, which uh, I think looks really cool. And a lot of you guys did recommend this in the comment section, so here it is, and I do like it. It is a nice addition as well, so yeah. Moving on from there, we have Indigo, a custom follower mod. Um, a lot of custom lines and stuff like that as well. Um, this here is purely here just to show where you can place custom followers. So obviously if you don't want Indigo, don't download them. And if you have other followers, place them exactly where I have I have this mod right now. Oh now we have Sarana Dialogue Add-on. Um 
This one is uh, obviously I recommend using because uh, the, the dialogue add-ons are really, really, really cool, and she has a lot to say now, and it's really, really, it's it's so it's a really it's a really good mod, it's such a good mod. From well, that we have a quality world map, vivid with storm roads. Because I'm not using Skyland and the laws, this mod is required, so you actually can get a decent looking map and see the storm roads on the map itself. Following that, we have the last mod, which is Alternate Start, Live Another Life. Uh, this mod gives you the option to jump into the game very quickly with a bunch of options on how you want to actually start your adventure within Skyrim. And that is the uh, full list, guys. I apologize. I kept getting tongue-tied a lot in this. I, I don't know. I'm After being ill, I just can't seem to get back into the rhythm of things quite well enough yet. But um, as always, guys, if you do like the load order, please consider subscribing as I'm trying to reach 2,000 by the end of the year. And if you do like the video, give me a thumbs up. That would be super appreciated. Anyway, guys, this has been Shiro. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.